How's it going, everybody? MMK09 Brewer here. Welcome back to Hyperdimension Neptunia. When we last left off, we continued on with the story, finally, and dealt with more side stuff. So, without further ado, let's continue on with the story. Four floating landmasses orbit towards and away from one another. Sky Harbor is used for people to travel between lands when they come close together. Did this happen during some great war from long, long ago? Yeah, let's go with that. It was a totally crazy, epic war between some profound sort of darkness and a really great light. What's she babbling about? I'm sorry. Please be patient with her. She really doesn't remember anything. I think. Right. Hearing that from a nurse in training is reassuring. How long have you known her? A few days. I found her stuck head first in the ground, so I pulled her out and treated her wounds. Stuck in the ground? You pulled her out? So Neptune's grow in the ground. Come on, guys, dance party. How can I believe that? Well, yes, but not from the ground. She fell from the sky and got stuck in the ground after, Miss Ayah. Huh? Oh, it's been bugging me, but you call me Miss. You don't have to be so formal, but... Iffy! Koopa! Hurry up! The view is so stupendous from here! You too scared? Ha! <laughs> I bet you are! Can I help you, Kitty? So you, no, no! Who said you could get up here? Who said you could get up here, Kitty? No! No, down, Kitty! Down! Get down! No, no, kitty, no, no, kitty, ki ki where are you going, kitty? I don't like her being kitty. Friendly with me. I feel like she doesn't quite ah. understand her place beneath me. As long as you don't interrupt my recording, you're good. Nep, nep. This is the Sky Harbor area, where two land masses come in contact with one another. Sounds kinky. It doesn't really mean the ground is split. How do I cross over? Should I jump? Should I shout wahoo as I do it? Yeah. Why not slap on some overalls and a red hat while you're at it? Actually, we use a bridge to cross over. We needed the Basilicom's permit to get the bridge lower. Now we can use it any time. That, that Mario reference. Let us talk about teleportation. You can teleport when another land approaches the landmass you are on. To teleport, enter a dungeon and reach the exit connecting to the other landmasses. Teleportation is only available when there is another land close by, so do not miss your chance. Let's, let's, let's save this shit. You enjoying the view back there, Mr. Kitty? I mean, Miss Kitty? What is the big machine? Question mark. A big machine is being is, is seen on a recycling truck. Is it antique furniture? Nope. It's a jukebox. Do you have to clean yourself on the camera, buddy? Do you have to clean yourself seriously? A big truck? Is it recycling day? There's something funky on it. Looks kind of like furniture. But I've never seen nothing like it. Nope. No, sir. Oh, I guess it's sort of a rare sight. It's probably a jukebox. A jukebox? What's that? It's a machine that plays music selected by someone after putting some money in it. There's a stack of records inside. Records? 
those things made with vinyl? I bet Mr. Jukebox is a real antique. That is correct. Well, there are jukeboxes today that do digital music, but the records are better. Oops! Sorry, we didn't mean to distract you or anything. Don't worry about that. I was just about to take a break anyway. Is the jukebox broken? Yes. I can no longer find parts to fix it with. Useless products will just get thrown away. Much like this company, even if its business was founded upon the sales of jukeboxes. Huh? I thought this was a... game company? You may not know, but several game companies got their start by selling jukeboxes around here. Oh, interesting. Youths back then found the loves of their lives dancing to the music this old thing played. How romantic. It's like a musical Cupid. Right. I should get going. Feel free to stop by if you're in the mood to classic rock and roll. Who isn't? I mean... Yeah. Okay. Wait, what... What game company is this referencing? Of course, if this thing ever gets fixed. Calm down, Cassie. Calm down. I bet he danced with his lover to that jukebox's music, too. Mysterious vandals. Everyone passes by and watches a mysterious group of fighters on the street destroying Rip. Fucking Street Fighter. Whoa, what's happening? A barrel just flew right past my head. What the hell is this? Oh, over there. Those tough looking people are destroying a pile of barrels. Oh, PewDiePie would be uh, impressed. Huh? Why? Look at the other side. Those road pugilists are destroying cheap boxy cars with their ba- I think they're martial artists from all around the world. Oh, here comes a new challenge. Let's not get involved. Stop staring. Oh, there's a cute Chinese girl with a really mon with really monstrous thighs over there. Naturally. I just told you to stop staring. Let's go. Whoa, a sumo wrestler too. I've never seen one of those in real life. Everyone is a master. Why flag? Oh, why flag? Ooh. It's unusual for If to accept a bounty job alone. As she realizes how helpful a party can be, she hears a scream from nearby. Jeez, it's a lot more difficult when I do this alone. I must have gotten soft having a party as a huge advantage. As a huge advantage. Ugh, I can't speak today. Maybe I should check up on Nap and the others. Ah! The screen. Where did it come from? Right? Left? Where are you? I'm coming to help.
Oh, hi there. Ow! She seems really excited. Aw, what's the matter? You're not allowed to be sleepy yet. I'm not sleepy. Who are you? Get off me. Oh my, no can do. When you tell me to get off, it just makes me not want to. Then, don't get off? Don't worry, I have no intention to. Good. Look, just get off, seriously. Well, you're a demanding one. You didn't have to stand up so suddenly. Ouch. I warned you. Where did you come from? Are you hurt? I like her, I like her hair. Her hair is nice. Hurt? Nope. Thanks to you protecting me with your body. That wasn't intentional. Oh, modesty sure is a turn on. I like your humble attitude. What's your name, chick? My name is Red. You know, R-E-D, Red. I'm I-F. Chick? That doesn't feel right. Oh. Fine, Iffy. From now on, you're gonna be my wifey. What, who? A wife? Do you even know what you're saying? Of course. Whoever I love becomes my wifey, you know? Like marriage, consecrating the vows. You're not wrong, but... Once I call dibs on you, if we don't get interrupted for ten minutes, that's official, right? What do you think? What do you think, Kitty? Do you think that's official? That's that's official. Yeah. All right. Huh? That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh. You don't want to be my wifey? <laughs> that's really not the point. Okay then, it's decided. Yay! First wifey obtained. Now I gotta look for more. More? She's definitely a child. Yes, Red looking for the all-girl harem and IF is now YV number one! Info. Any other ones? Or is it... Okay, so I'm gonna go to Lean Box Nest next. I wanna try and get Red and 5PB in the party early on. So, this is probably gonna be mainly a text, a talking episode. Everyone is a master. The crew arrives at another company storage in time to witness the masterful stacking skills of the employee. I'm just gonna. Just gonna. Just, just gonna. Just, just gonna now. No. Seems we're entering an industrial district. Look, they're loading up a truck. Oh, yeah. The boxes are getting moved on a conveyor belt and people are loading them onto the truck by hand. The boxes are in different shapes. Andy's shape is a different color. It's probably tough to organize the boxes to fit neatly in the truck. Check it out. They're turning the boxes so they could stack them without any gaps in between them. That's quite a skill. Oh, but they've left a long, thin gap on one end of the truck. How will they fill it? If they leave it there, 
the other stacked boxes are going to be all wobbly and stuff. Hmm, a thin long blue box is next. It, it fits perfectly. The men high fiving are high fiving each other, saying something like Detris. Who's who's texting me? Amazing. Oh 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 oh. What? This company's the one who made the popular puzzle game with the falling objects. Oh, I getcha. Even their loading crew are masters at it. <laughs> I doubt that's got anything to do with it. Looks like that that's last station that's nearby, but we're not going to last station just yet. We're gonna go to Lean Box. Yes, we'll wait for the approach. Wait, shop. Is there anything new in the shops? Nope. Alright, here, here we go. We're about to experience another unique dungeon of how we get to the land masses. Treasure hunting? Ah, fuck the treasure chests. They're just having reflect. They just have materials and stuff in here. If there's any chests that I find, I'll just go into them. I'm not gonna search the whole dungeon just to find particular items. Can you stop him poisoning my bitches? Finish it off, Nep Nep. We won, we won, we won. Detoxin. Combat, and then we're gonna go to lean box. Fire. Me not talking. I sometimes this game requires a lot of focus. Exit the dungeon? Hell yeah, let's go to Lean Box and say hi to my waifu while we're here. It's been a while since I've seen my waifu. I bet she'll remember she won't remember me.
us talk about the Greenheart blog. It is a blog written by the Leanbox Goddess Greenheart. I just went kind of Irish there. You can read news about Leanbox and the Goddess's daily life. You might find some useful information. But we are now in Leanbox. Line Mass Info Nightmare, Dan Dragon with a Blue Shadow. Ah, that's level 20. Fuck that. Level 500? No, fuck that. Moonlight Shell. If was awakened by an unexpected ambush. She heads into a nearby forest led by a mysterious song. What awaits her there? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah? What, what's this cold thing on my stomach? Uh, foot? Nap. That's a depressing wake-up call. It's only 5.30 in the morning. The sun's just starting to rise. I don't really feel like going back to sleep, but it's too early to get up. Ah, so sleepy. Huh? Was that someone's voice? Who else is hardcore enough to be up this early? Oh, that sounds so beautiful. Isn't this the artist known as 5PB? The unsigned singer slash songwriter who travels the world known only as 5PB? I hear she's a radio MC now too. She's one of the most popular underground artists on game industry. Meh. She's near my age and works solo. She reminds me of myself, so I'm secretly a fan of hers. Boy, what's she doing so early? Secret vocal training? Watch it, IF. She could be a siren. Trying to l lure you in with her sexy singing voice. Or never mind. Damn. Her voice is so awesome. I can't hear her clear enough from here. I should get closer. A little more. A little more. Huh? Ah, 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 ah. Huh? Hey, hey, what's the matter? Ah, ah, ah. Whoa, don't run away for no reason. Too late. She didn't have to run like that. Am I really scary looking in the morning or something? You don't want to know the answer to that question, IF. Why would you ask that? It's my waifu's town. Explore landmass info. Great March. Neptune and her party enter a lean box forest to resume a job, but the party gets separated by a monster animal. Kitty. Phew. Finally, that monster was a total pushover. Nep and the others must have taken a different path while I chased it down. Footsteps. They're coming closer. Iffy! What? You're the girl from the forest. Red, right? You remembered my name! 
as expected of wifey number one, my eyes know quality women. Right. Wifey number one. So what can this quality wifey do for you? Oh yeah, you're traveling to hunt monsters, right? Yep, we might still be surrounded. Let's get back to town as soon as we can. But I just got here. We're alone. I, I came today. I came for you and you alone. For my beloved wifey number one. Bought a whole, brought a whole brunch, bunch of them with me while risking my life. Brought what? Monsters, you can fight your heart to your heart's content now. Sounds lovely. Too happy to respond, eh? Man, it was tough work to round up this many. But I know it's worth it to see that stunned O face of yours. There's probably more than 100 here. What? Crap! Two of us alone can't possibly stand against that many. We need to run. Huh? Hmm. You're not gonna fight, but I worked so hard to bring them to you. Oh. Red, just take my hand and hurry. Ah, you're holding my hand! <sighs> Thinking of fairly odd parents with. Whatever Vicky's sister was that had a huge crush on Timmy Turner. Yeah. Ha. Huh. <sighs> uh, I'm so tired. Don't you dare ever try that again. Monsters are dangerous. I'm sorry. I thought it'd make you happy, but I guess I went too far. You have to know where the line is and not cross it, but it's kind of flattering to know you did it just for me. Really? So I've increased my charisma? Ch charisma? Sure. By a little. Awesome! Charisma plus ten. I need to jot that down. Plus ten? I'm just as confused as you are, IF. Person? I have heads to the forest again while everyone else is sleeping. Will she find the girl once more? This is for 5 PB, not red. It was around here. I don't remember the exact location. There she is! Seems like she's practicing diligently. Must be hard to find a place to practice in peace and quiet when you're so popular. I'll try to keep her calm this time. I just have to remain casual. Yeah, just... just... just be casual. I have to just be casual. Eh. Hello. You're the artist 5PB, right? Nice to meet you. Ah! Ah! Stop! 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 Don't flip out! I don't want our players to get complaints from their neighbors about screaming girls. <laughs> huh. <sighs> Calm down, okay? I'm sure that was uh, good vocal training or something. Huh. You act pretty different than your radio personality. Why are you so tense? 
Go away. I'm not suspicious or anything, I mean. I know it's not convincing when I say it myself, but... I don't... I don't believe you. Yeah, it's a strange time of day, but you're being unnecessarily cautious. Please, just stay back. I wasn't trying to scare you. I apologize for all that. You are 5 PB, right? I know of you. You travel around and put on live shows and performances, right? I... I heard your voice here a while ago, so I thought we could maybe try to and get to know each other. I travel a lot, just like you. It's nothing glamorous like music, but I journey with friends and hunt monsters. Um, you want to tell me about any of your journeys? Um, well, uh... My, my, my name's Lyrica. You, you must have the wrong person. Hey, wait, wait. Damn, she's gone again. So that wasn't her. Oops. I feel dumb. She looked and sounded a lot like 5PB. Lyrica, huh? That's a very beautiful name. In a Japanese sense. I don't know if I would name my daughter or if I have a daughter in the future, Lyrica. I mean, it is a beautiful name. It is a pretty name. Landmass info. Nightmare. While visiting Lean Box, Neptune has a dream about Istwar. Who is, who is Istwar, Istwar speaking with in this dream? Istwar? Might as well finish Istwar? it. Istwar? Did you truly take a goddess down to the world below? Uh oh. How dare you? All this even after stealing you away? Tell me everything you've told me this very instant. I do not possess enough power to even call out to someone in Celestia. You should be aware of that the most. I did not take her down. She chose to fall of her own volition. She wishes to level justice against your crimes. It's against Celestial Province for a CPU to directly interfere with the human world for no valid reason. Unless it's a scheduled inspection or an accidental fall, such insolence is unacceptable. Each of them possess only a quarter the power of an actual goddess. They couldn't possibly travel down without your aid. No, that is incorrect. If something existed that led them to go there without my aid, it was destiny. Something beyond even my control. Damn straight. No, there's nothing beyond your control. You are the world's... The world's everything! It is true this tome contains everything in this reality. But it does not stand to reason I have free reign over it all. It matters not whether you are human or CPU. Not a soul exists able to control everything in their life. You may have a point. You're the most difficult variable to control Come on, dance with all. me, Kitty. Come on! But Wake the fuck up and dance with me. You've the power to change this world, and I've the desire to do so. You do know what I'm thinking of, don't you? No. A tome cannot read somebody's intentions to act. I know only what has occurred in the past. Yeah, yeah. With that attitude, you'll never understand. Which is fine by me. There's no need for you to feel as I do, because you are different. This will all end. When the curtain falls on this world after its final act, this nonsensical opera shall finally end. <laughs> Cuckoo. No! Cuckoo. You can't end this world's opera! Ouchie! Huh? Oh, a dream. I heard Isti's voice, though. Ugh, what a weird dream. Curtains falling and worlds ending. Hey. What's going on? You're way too energetic for this early in the morning. 
Hiya, good morning. Sorry for waking you up. Why are you sleeping here anyway? I thought you were bunking with Iffy. Iffy's very sensitive to noise, and she kicked me out, saying I snore like a grandpa. So I had to leave. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's tidy up and get some breakfast. Iffy won't be happy if she has to wait for her toast. Ugh, but I don't feel rested at all. I don't want to do anything. He gets Kampa. Your hair, it's so fluffy. Oh no. Nap nap. Please don't bump me from behind like that. Oh, you smell like such a girly girl too. I want to sleep just like this. Your hair is lulling me off to La La Land. That's no good. Iffy will be upset at us. Please, I'm not a body pillow for you to cuddle with. Or are you? But you feel so cozy when I squeeze you. I could sleep like this anytime, anywhere. You're both awake? Sorry for kicking you out, Kampa. We can try again tomorrow. What the hell is this perverted crap? So, that happened. Alright, where do we gotta go now to... Greenheart's blog is updated. The Archbishop will avenge my stone. I'll, I'll save that for another time. Fantasy creep that dislike me. Okay, we gotta go back to the planet for a bit. Uh, before we do that, though, let's 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 just do this and say hi to the wife. Today I'd like to chat about the various accommodations Leanbox offers. Waifu, it's been so long. I'm sure you all. I missed you. But the CPU of Leanbox is me, Greenheart. Yeah. Leanbox is a land abundant with nature, the most beautiful in all game industry. Yeah, I can see that. I believe the word draconian does you know archaic. No. Oh, Don't look at me. Medieval describes me. Leanbox best. Yeah, I could say that that describes the inbox perfectly. Many come here to spend their retirement or raise children. I highly suggest coming to Leanbox, especially if you have enough money to live a rich and comfortable life. That's the basic rundown of my land. I'll go into more detail with my upcoming blog entries. I'll see you again okay, in the next update. See you again in your next update, waifu. Yeah, I'll save. I'll save last um, lean box with that Archbishop and the Evangelist thing for later, cause that um I can't really progress far in lean box. I tried on my own time when I. Right, let's go back to Plan Neptune. Talk to Five PB. Maybe we could get her in my party. I wouldn't say it's exactly story, Fine. but Let's do this. it's needed to get 5 PB as a character, so I guess you could say it's technically DLC to, well, story to understand more about 5 PB. There we go.
There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it, kitty. Ooh, detox. Despite her efforts, I have barely missed this 5 PB show. She finds a suspicious shadow beyond the crowd of people. Everyone, thanks so much for coming to see little old me today. That's all for now. You'll have to learn where my next show will be through my website. So be sure to keep your eyes on it. Oh, I will. Ugh, I didn't make it on time. I was really looking forward to this too. If only we cleared the dungeon just 30 seconds faster. If only Nep didn't try to eat that hamburger shaped rock. Oh, only nap, nap. Oh, nap. No, nap. No, just nap. No. So crowded here. I guess the show just ended. Hmm. Okay. That should be everything. Is your show over? Hmm. Huh? Oh, you're the suspicious girl from the, the forest. Forest. No way! So it was you. You're so different from who I hear on the radio. That's a radio personality, so 5PB is like a show name for an act. W were you at the show today? No, unfortunately. I didn't make it in time. I wish I did, though. So your real name is Lyrica, huh? What, what, what do I do? Someone who knows my real name heard me singing. No, I just said I didn't make it in time. Gotta go. Hold it. Look, let's chat. We can keep walking, okay? Um, so, so, never mind. Just, just say what's on your mind. It's not like I'm going to spread your secrets across internet forums worldwide. What? Can't you take a joke? What's wrong? You're always so confident on the radio. Well, this is, I mean... I'm usually like this. When I'm singing or talking on the radio, I get so into it I don't even notice. That's your reason for disappearing? Right after your live shows? Uh-huh. Also why you were practicing in such an isolated location at such ridiculous time? 
Yep. But after the show is the best time to get to know your fans. Fan service is important. You're missing out on the best opportunity to grow. You think? I never looked at it that way. Fans only come to hear the songs, not me. That's completely wrong. Don't be like that. Fine. I'll help you out. Huh? I pass. I didn't hear that. You're starting to gain popularity, so this isn't the time for you to act so hesitant. But well, I guess. I promise I won't lead you astray, okay? Sorry, kitty. Didn't mean to wake you. The Mentor, IF. Lyrica, known as 5PB on stage, is naturally shy and reserved. IF offers to help her overcome her anxiety. The number of people doesn't matter, right? I mean, you were nervous just around me. No, one person or 100 people. Doesn't matter. What if you picture your audience as a variety of fruits in a giant basket? Nah. You said you're fine during shows or when you're on the radio, right? It's probably because I'm focused. I don't care about my surroundings when I can get absorbed into my songs. Radio broadcasts are the same. It's like there's a personality switch in, inside my head. It turns on for shows and turns off right after so I get all skittish and afraid. I really don't like that feeling. And no one does. I wish my songs would never end. Switch is on and off. You're uncomfortable with yourself when it's in the off position. As an artist, you're fine. However, you lose your confidence when you revert to a, your normal self. Maybe you're just uncomfortable with Lyrica when you cast your 5PB name aside. Probably. Singing is so fun. I feel this energy swelling up deep inside my belly. That'll aid in overshadowing your normal self even more. What do you think I should do? Just ease into the fact that you have two facets to your life for now. I'll keep thinking about it. I know I probably pronounced that name or that word wrong, but I don't care at this point. Just, just keep going. Instead of fruit, maybe imagine your audience in their underwear next time. In their underwear? Would that really work? I've known that it works sometimes. It kind of worked for me at some points. Oh, okay. I guess I go to another area. I go to the last station now. Let's let's go to the last station. Uh, nearby lands. Last station is very far. Is far away. I don't really care. We're gonna wait. Search. Road to last station. Teleportation. Gotta get through this. Must go through one more cutscene.
Let's get through one more cutscene. Cutscene. End battle. Yes, let's go to Last Station. I like Last Station, Steve. Now, I haven't gone to Lowe yet because... If I remember correctly, 5pb goes to Louis, so after a few things in last station, so shouldn't be really at all that bad. I mean, so I can just get red then. Land of Black Regality, last station, otherwise known as the Land of Sony and PlayStation. Goddess Block, let us go over Black Heart. It is a blog written by the Last Station Goddess, Blackheart. You can read news about Last Station and the Goddess's daily life. You might find some useful information. Explore. Uh, mass info. Listening Memorial, level 100. Request from an Overlord, level 70. Level 25. Out of control robot is level 15. I can't even do that yet. Tough bluff. IF pays a sudden visit to Lyrica and takes her on a mysterious outing. Lyrica, are you here? Yeah, IF. You came all this way to see me? Something like that. Wanna tag along with me to a festival? It'll be fun. Huh? Um... Do you really... want me to go? Sure, don't worry. I'll be there the whole time. Let's just go for a little bit. Okay, but you better stay with me the whole time. I'll grip your sleeve real tight. Well, yeah, while we're there, we should try to work on your anxiety issue somehow. You have an idea? How do we do it? Will it hurt? It won't be easy, you know. Close your eyes and hold on to my hands. Okay. Like like this? Where are we going? I can't see. Just keep your eyes closed until I say you can open them. I'm letting go now. Will this really keep me from getting anxious? IF? She's gone! I... I'm in the middle of a crowd. I F. I F. Oh, oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Yo, watch it. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Uh... Oh, she's on the verge of crying. Poor... Poor 5PB. Welcome back. That, that, that was horrifying. What could be more effective, though? I know it was kind of rough, but... More than kind of. I can't believe you left me all alone in that. I'm sure you're prone to get anxious over most anything, right? You, your guard was down since your day off, since it's your day off, and you thought I was here with you. I don't know if your mentoring is going in the right direction. Come on. You'll get used to it. You can't become confident in a single day. That is true. It takes a lot of time if you're very shy. Oh, hello? 
I ordered room service. I'm ready to listen to you complain, but let's relax and fill our stomachs first. Hmm. What are you doing under the bed? Are you looking for monsters? They're in the closet, you know. Oh, um, sorry. Hiding is a reflex. We've got a long way to go. Alright, well, told you guys I had time for one more cutscene, and I delivered. And I apologize that there's not much gameplay this video, but what can you do? I want to get uh, 5 PB in red quickly, so I could just get right to leveling them up, leveling them up and being able to use them in combat. It'll be fun. So, uh... The next video will probably be the same format, being, you know, kind of mainly story text-based to get background information on 5PB in red, but hey, you know, sometimes you have to make small sacrifices to get, get people ahead of time, but whatever. But the coming parts will be pretty good. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, it'll help me out in the long run. I love doing this. Leave comments in the comment section below for suggestions on what I should do for the challenge accepted playthrough. And that's pretty much it. So, until next time, guys. See you in the next video. Have a good one.